So, two more words to say. We're reeling out. Matthew Bartholomew Vermeulen was born in June 1868 in San Francisco, California at the height of the California Gold Rush. His family originally rejected him as he was found in a riverbank while the family was panning for gold. Realizing that the baby was not a gold nugget but instead a human baby, they promptly threw him back into the river where he washed upstream and was raised by salmon for the rest of his life. In 1906, he joined the forces of World War I, ready to protect his country. He was immediately captured by German soldiers and was held captive for 17 years. As part of the German internment camp, Vermeulen was shot point-blank in the face by a sniper on the daily. To any normal man, this might break their spirit, but not Vermeulen. He was tough, he sweated it out, and when he was finally freed, he knew where he had to go. He wanted to study the ancient art of samuraiism, so he promptly flew to Japan, where he missed and ended up in Washington. There he realized his knack for salesmanship. In 1935, Vermeulen began selling snake oil in an old rusty shack in the middle of Seattle. In 1943, Vermeulen was promptly run out of Seattle when it was realized that the snake oil was just 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 full poison just straight just straight up uh, garden variety poison in 1975 he began working with apple and steve jobs to create the first macintosh computer he was promptly fired from apple when it was realized that his contributions were just just more poison just straight up just a little bottle with a skull and crossbones on it just just garden variety poison this cycle continued for 45 years, until 2008, when he took refuge in a small town in Seattle called Renton. Ren. It's crazy names. He took the guise of a young sailor boy who just come in from shore and was looking for work. The nice man over at Lindbergh took pity on him and gave him a job as a high school teacher, and thus a legend was born. Students would come from miles around to hear the man's wise teachings. This is the man we know today, and he will always be remembered. started here as an aide or something for a couple of years and then he did a student teaching. There was this guy who was around school for years and no one, no one really knew what he did and then after a certain point no one wanted to ask him because it felt like we should know that. When me and Damien were in his class and he would always just get us in trouble but he just held a chill and he let, it, he like, let you do whatever. He always tries to throw stuff up in the air and then catch it, but I've never seen him catch it like once, and it's just the funniest thing. And he always like stops to look around to see if anybody saw him miss, but I'm always the only one. He ranted to us about Harry Potter. And we were reading Scarlet Letter, and then he decides to go off 15 minutes and talk about Harry Potter and how much he hates him. I will never forget Squiggly Patronus after that. We had this like one picture in there, and I was like, Mr. V, what is that? And he was like, oh, it was this time where the government sent out a bunch of people to take pictures of poor people. <laughs> I was like, Oh, okay, this is a weird class. The first day when he came in and told us about the dog with the stroke, <laughs> it was a story about him and his family and about this one dog that he really liked because it had a stroke. Because I could make him love <laughs> I mean, the class wouldn't be anything without him and his like silly little comments. Especially humanities, because art history kind of sounds like it sounds boring. But uh, without Mr. V saying things like stupid dinos and just making references to like chaos on a motorcycle, I really wouldn't remember everything that I do or like enjoy the class at all, probably. You're trying to like create a um, like a conversation or like a dialogue about like the text, you know? And you're like, and you're doing your teacher thing, which is like you ask a question and you wait ten seconds, uh, be, like. Because your your mental clock is way faster than like what the actual clock is, and it's like really not as awkward as you think it is. So like you be waiting like ten seconds, but then it, like keeps dragging on. And you're like oh my gosh, I suck as a teacher. And then like <laughs> somebody in the back like raises their hand, and you're like oh my gosh, this person never talks, and now they're gonna have this awesome thing to say. And you probably already know like, what are they gonna ask when they raise their hand? Can I go to the bathroom? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Afraid to ever say what he 
things even though it might be the weirdest or randomest thing ever. But it's awesome because it's him. I've never heard stories about you Mr. Like there's always stories about all the teachers, but there's never been like, I mean, there's like, a, he said this stupid thing that was funny, but there's never been like a, that's, Mr. V did this. That's, that's how it distracts you a lot. <laughs> He's one of like the nicest teachers. That's what I'm going to miss most about it. He actually cared about his students. He actually tried to make a difference every single day with his students' lives, and he actually interacted with people. Everybody here is a testament to how how much he has touched everyone's lives. Like everybody came together to celebrate his time and give him a fond farewell. It's just like a, a celebration of his great career here. He's been here for a long time and he's helped so many students and so this is just saying thanks to him for being such a great teacher. not only on an academic level, but on a personal level. He doesn't just treat you like a student, he treats you like you're a friend or family. He cares about his students the most here. Like, he's that teacher that actually go, go out and care about you. He's got a great sense of humor. I appreciate that. He cares about his subjects and he cares about his students. And so because of that, he's fun and rewarding to work with. He contributed to actually make the Lindbergh a more fun environment. He wasn't afraid to go and bend a couple of rules to go and make a better curriculum. He didn't go by just the books. He actually tried to teach, and he did a really good job. Right. Yeah. This is what you want to have your high school experience with. I going to miss everything. I miss these classes. Just everything that I look forward to in the day. So it's like. If I didn't have Mr. V, I probably would skip language arts every day, to be honest. <laughs> and we're gonna miss him, of course. Right. We're really gonna miss him. And he shouldn't turn until the 49ers. Our goal is to make you cry before you go to dinner. Oh my god. Yeah, we're you guys are Daniel really crying. real close. You're doing a job. <laughs> I love you, Mr. V, and I'm gonna miss you a lot. I hope you have a great time in San Francisco, and I'll miss you a lot. Mr. V, thank you so much again for being one of the greatest teachers here at Lindbergh. I really appreciate everything you've done for me and all the seniors in the class. I got more right to in this letter, man. What makes you you is your heart. Mr. V, thank you so much for always being there for us. And um, I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna write this all in a letter, but like, thank you for always being there for us and assuring us that there's always somebody who cared. Thank you for being so relatable and just kind toward every person. I've never seen you yell, get too upset. Um, thank you for going into teaching. You really inspired me for my future. We're gonna miss you, man. I'm really gonna miss you. You're the best language arts teacher that I've ever had. And I, I never thought that a language arts teacher would affect me this much. Dear Mr. V, as Kobe Bryant's one did, <laughs> <laughs> again, thank you. Okay, remember, be quick to wonder, slow to judge, and keen to discover, and you will all have a wonderful and beautiful life. Take care. Bye, everybody. Love you very much.